Hey guys, this is Ms. Morgan, and I want to talk to you for just a minute about normal balances. The first thing I had you learn was, was the types of accounts, A-L-O-R-E, stands for your assets, liabilities, owner's equity accounts, revenues, and expenses. So now we're going to talk about normal balances. And the way you memorize normal balances is to memorize this sentence. All elephants drive, and then you want to draw a slash there, little red cars. The A stands for assets. And that means anytime you have an asset account, it's going to have a debit balance. Now let me explain what I mean by debit. A T account looks like this, looks like a capital T. The left side is called debit, the right side is called credit. If you ever memorized that a debit means increase or a credit means decrease, you need to erase that because in this class debit means left and credit means right. And then at the top of your T account you will have the account title. Now sometimes debit will mean increase and sometimes credit will mean increase and so that's why I don't want you to memorize it by debit or credit. I want you to memorize it by a normal balance. And so here with this sentence, all elephants drive, little red cars, AED shows up on the left side of the sentence, LRC shows up on the right side and that's how you're going to memorize normal balances. So A stands for assets. Asset has a normal balance of debit. E stands for expenses. Expenses also has a normal balance of debit. D stands for drawing. And the only time we use the drawing account is when the owner takes out money. Drawing also has a debit balance. L stands for liabilities. And liabilities all have a credit balance. You see here it's on the right side or the credit side of the sentence. R stands for revenues. Revenues has a normal credit balance. And C stands for capital. And the capital account also has a normal credit balance. The accounts will increase on the normal side. So you need to memorize that before we move on.